<laughs> All right, it is the touch right here on Y254. I'm Robert Osor, and it is that time for the fun zone where we discuss the fun favorite sport of football and everything else that has made the eyes of sports. Joining me after some time is uh, Sammy Gitai, Samuel Gitai. Yes, man. Now you're a sports journalist, full time. <laughs> yeah, okay. At least I can say that. At least I can say that. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, man. You in the high table, man. Yeah, it's and good. also Erika Ganya is our sports analyst here in studio. Also, a minute he has been. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's yeah. good to see this young man after <laughs> yeah. quite some time. Man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, your highlight of the week has been? Yeah, of course. It has that from yesterday. Night. Yesterday night. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, yeah. Paid Kipia gone after the week of build up, which was really interesting listening yes. to her talking about mm -hmm. her quest to break the world record. Yes. She said it's in her mind, it's in her heart. Mm -hmm. And we saw it yesterday. I mean, mm -hmm. how she started the race, how she ended it, mm -hmm. it was just brilliant. 3.49.11. Yes. That's the only piece that was remaining in her jigsaw of mm -hmm. wonderful performances. Yeah. Uh, that is the highlight of the week for sure. You saw the race yesterday night and not only Faith Kipiergon setting that world record, all the other ladies also in the race had their personal best for the first time in the race. That was a race that we live to remember for generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, the, mm. for generations, it will be remembered because uh, you see when uh, uh, Faith set the pace, yes. the others are just to improve. Yes. And eventually mm. it improved everybody. And you can see the passion in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. that, that tells you one thing, when uh, sports can really unite the world. Yeah. Uh, everybody was cheering, regardless <laughs> of the race, regardless <laughs> of the tribe, regardless of everything. Yeah. 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 Even the rivals yes. became our fans. Yes. Exactly, <laughs> because you, you yes. need to appreciate something good. Yeah. And I think uh, yeah. we can use that. that. That tells you about sports. Yes. Uh, sports can be a very good uh, unifying factor. Mm -hmm. to everything and everybody forgot his problems and we wow. were celebrating all of us at the same time yeah so, and yeah. for the first time to be honest i you saw all everyone in that field they <laughs> went away to celebrate with faith keep yeah. going yes. i think she's one of the most popular athletes we have in the track right now yeah and as i said yesterday given that she's tried for so long going to monaco last year missing by a tenth of a second yes and then you remember in in florence in 2021 she missed again, hitting a 3.53. She expected to hit 3.53 again, yes. only to go away and, and break the world record. That should put her in the goat list. Yeah. Whenever you have a goat list of athletes, <laughs> put her there. I don't think for me there's any other lady who will run the 1,500 meters better than the way Faith Kipia gone did it yesterday night. I think she has also left a blueprint on how to run the 1,500 meters the way the goat Eliud Kipchoge has done it when it comes to the marathon. Also, another kid on the block who is making his second appearance in the Diamond League has got to be Ferdinand Omanyala. 10.05. Second time Diamond League in Rabat, he came fourth. Yesterday came second. Gold in the making. Yeah, he's, he's moving from strength to strength. <laughs> yes. And, and uh, uh, you look at uh, the way his determination mm -hmm. and uh, his, his focus. Yeah. Uh, he, he trains hard. Mm -hmm. He has kept the discipline. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, definitely, uh, the gold, he will, he'll get it. Yeah. He'll get it. Well, <laughs> let me pump some bricks. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I, I don't think I'm going to agree with what you said there about yes. winning gold. Uh -huh. um, maybe it's because you've been used to the era of Usain Bolt, Justin uh -huh. Gatlin. Yes. Nowadays, they're setting 994, mm -hmm. and it looks like a fast race. It's uh -huh. not a fast race, yes. to be honest with you. Even 10 or 5, yeah. it's not a fast one. They're still Fred Kelly. Yeah. This guy has transitioned from 200, is now in the 100 meters. Yeah. He's unbeaten so far against Fredo Manjala in this season. Yes. And looking at how he's racing, mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to stop him right now. Yeah. It might be unfair, an unfair judgment on Ferdinand Manjala, mm -hmm. but as I said yesterday, yeah. He's got to take a lot to beat uh, Fred Kelly. His yeah. stats are not that great. Mm -hmm. And Fred Kelly has a very 70, 70 meters at the end. He's looking really good. Mm -hmm. uh, second place, good enough. He's going to, to Paris in the next Diamond League. Yeah. Uh, maybe take some rest a bit and then focus on Budapest. But it's going to take a lot, man. Also, exhaustion can also be a factor. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Given that he started it, in yeah. the intro. 
and, and, and his management also yeah. managing him. Remember, there was a time he was mishandled about the passport and whatever. Yes, yeah. I think we, it also uh, comes to us as a government. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, to, to look at him and uh, manage him properly. Yeah. Uh, make put structures in place whereby now he has uh, he has to focus on the track yeah. and not any other thing. Yeah. And that's where now you find that uh, the likes of Usain Bolt were able to do what they were able to do mm -hmm. because the only focus was on mm -hmm. on the track yeah. and uh, not other 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 things. And to add, to add on that point, I remember on that he actually made a statement about him not being able to travel with a coach. So that's uh, been something uh, that, see, that should yeah, be yeah, yeah, You see yeah. such kind of things because yeah. if you look at his starting, mm -hmm. he has yeah. a problem yes, starting. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. He picks up yeah, in the middle. Yes, he picks up in the middle. Yes. And the only person who had that was Usain Bolt. Yes. And Usain Bolt had a very, very big finishing power. Yes. And you see, uh, when you have you, uh, your rivals or competitors who are so good at the finishing, mm. you have to start well. Yes. And that means uh, the coaching has to come. Yeah, but anyway, he yeah. still has the, the season <laughs> best. Nine, eight, eight, four. Yeah, he's yeah, still, he's still, still the one still leading. The guy at the top, yes. Yeah, still the one leading. And we are happy that we, are, we have someone at the short uh, distance. We miss the Mary Morat 800, but hopefully. Yeah, 400. It's supposed uh, to be 400. 400, 400 yeah. Yes. We'll see her at uh, the Paris, the next, uh, the next leg that is going to Paris now. But let's move ahead to some good story that has been happening was the Europa League final where we saw Sevilla continue their love affair with the Europa League final, winning their seventh title and defeating Jose Mourinho for the first time in a European Cup final. Deserved win for Sevilla. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. That game was bland. Yeah. That was it one was a of It was a dark game. It was a dark game. game. No chances. Yes. Yeah. All, all, yeah. all the coaches were pragmatic. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. The, the, the big storyline happened off pitch. Off, off the pitch. On, on yeah. what happened with yeah. Jose Mourinho and Anthony Taylor. And yes. of course, it's continuing with mm -hmm. maybe ex we expect some touchline ban or something to be done to Jose Mourinho to be consequenced on that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think it was fair that the game goes to, to penalties. Yes. And of course, you saw the metal that Sevilla has mm -hmm. when taking penalties. And of course, Yusuf Bono, one of the best goalkeepers right now in Africa, yeah. came out big. And yeah, Sevilla win for the seventh time, but uh, it wasn't that of a spectacular game, to be yeah. honest, yes. Mm -hmm. Very few key chances created in the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think both coaches were, were, were angling for a 1-0 win. Yes. Uh -huh. And when they got a 1-1, they were all comfortable. Yeah. And uh, they took their chances and uh, they pushed the game to the penalties. Yes. Because if you look at even after the 1-1, no, yes. no, 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 no coach came out rightly to go on the attack and yes. look for a second goal. Yes. Yeah. Everybody was comfortable sitting back. Uh, waiting to catch the other one on the counter, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen. Uh, off the pitch, Jose Mourinho is being Jose Mourinho. Yes. Uh, that, that's what we expected from him. Yes. <laughs> so I think uh, even if they ban him, he will not stop. The, the, they, question they will, the question will be, yes, yes he has gone against the rules. He has, uh, it's, uh, he's not supposed to do that. Yes. But when you look at the emotions of the game, the yes. adrenaline of the yeah. game, yeah. Did the referee do a mistake or not? Well, uh, <laughs> this one might, might look like a, a tough statement to say. Yeah. But I don't understand why we can have, in our, in, in our society, yeah. that we have guys who make mistakes and they're allowed to make mistakes. Yes. Why is it that referees can make a mistake in a game? Yeah. And at the same time, it's not as if he made big mistakes in the game. Every time he, he awarded severe penalty, went back to VR, checked, from a penalty, he overruled, he overruled it. Yes. I think that's just Jose Mourinho yeah. taking the, the, the piece and yeah. him just going ahead to, to, to bash the referee yeah. for what he didn't do in the game. Because he's a pass final, he's lost in the yes. European Cup final. Yeah. And uh, he's now coming up to a coach who knows how to rile up a crowd. Yeah. Because Italian crowds are known to really come out and support yeah. their own. And yeah. Jose Mourinho knows that. He, he has really brought the Roma crowd out of that mm -hmm. quiet trenches and out there into the streets and saying, we are actually yes, Roman. We yeah, can do this. I think I think as as, as Sami says, uh, there's no perfection in humanity. Yeah. And if you look at the referee, uh, in my opinion, again, I'll I'll, I'll tend to agree with him. Yeah. Uh, the referee handled the game well. Yes. Uh, yes. Under the circumstances, mm -hmm. you see, uh, you have a crowd that is coming after you. Yes. You have a coach that is coming after you. The entire bench. Uh, the entire the bench. Yeah. He, he was uh, yes. able to to remain <laughs> calm. Yeah. And uh, as he says, he had to double check everything. Yes. yes. Uh, the game 
do not have many incidences on the on the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the game, as we had said earlier on, it was a dull game. Yes. So I think uh, Mourinho was just being over spectacular. Mm -hmm. I wanted to to get the attention from uh, his players now. Yeah. yeah. Not winning. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's talking about Mourinho's behavior. Yes. And not as Roma losing the cup. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. So he's, he's succeeded. Yeah. It was as Roma winning yes. 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 He yeah. succeeded in uh, <laughs> yes. bringing the attention and the yes. pressure from his players. Yes. yes. Now the pressure is on him as uh, as a coach. Eh? Yeah. yeah. And he's used to that. Mm -hmm. He's a master when it comes yeah. to that. Yeah, and when you yeah. listen to some of his complaints were Luis Ocampos mm -hmm. dived here and mm -hmm. he wasn't given a yellow card. On mm -hmm. the other side you have mm -hmm. a yellow card being handed onto the onto his players. Yeah. They're all vague to be honest with you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. whatever followed afterwards, that's the only part I disagree with a lot of guys and how they assess the situation. Mm -hmm. They're talking about Anthony Taylor being attacked at the airport. Yes. Being a result of Jose Mourinho bringing everything onto him. Yeah. But that's personally on, on the guys from Budapest. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But, but yes. Uh, it's, it's not on Jose uh, Mourinho. No, I that. think that, that is on Jose Mourinho <laughs> because you see, mm. the fans uh, go by the leadership. Followed uh, the queue of follow, the Follow the queue. Yeah. And uh, you see, Jose Mourinho put in the fans that this referee was unfair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the first place. And mm. that's why the fans went for. For, for, for the referee, because if that had not been put in their mind, mm -hmm. just like our politicians, yeah. when they put to you that this guy is from another tribe, you start mm -hmm. looking at him differently. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it was triggered by uh, Jose Mourinho's uh, events that had prior to, 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 to the airport thing. Yeah. Because if he had not come out and said whatever he said or did whatever he did, mm -hmm. would the fans have gone after Taylor? No. Well, <laughs> not really sure, but again, but again, let me just add something. Yeah. Because you've, you've been used to UEFA mishandling such tournaments. Uh -huh, yes. We saw it in, in the last year's finals in Paris, mm -hmm. Liverpool playing against Real Madrid. Yes. We saw it even uh, West Ham against AZ Alkma when you had uh, some fans and ultras go ahead to attack the families of the players. Yeah. This was another one. I think Anthony Taylor, being a guy who's brought into a final, should be on a chartered trip. Ah, yes. true. Yes. Mm. Well. Budapest is done in Istanbul. The next uh, one will go to Budapest. I think it will be the World Championship. World Championship. <laughs> yes. we are going to. And uh, for Kenya, we'll be coming back with uh, the gold medals. For now, the Europa League is done. The Champions League will be coming a little bit later on. But uh, this weekend, we have got a big one. A city united divided is <laughs> how people are actually analyzing that one. Is it uh, Manchester City versus Manchester United in the FA Cup final at Wembley from uh, 5.30 this evening? Big match that one is. What are your bets on that one? <laughs> that is the question. Well, uh, it's not a surprise that you're all Man United fans. <laughs> yes. and, and you know the big agenda ahead of tonight. Yes. Just stop Manchester City from winning the treble. Uh -huh. Only one that, club that, can that, win the treble, yes, and, you know, <laughs> and, and you know that is undisputed. Yeah. And I guess even listening to Rafael Varane, some of the leaders in the team, Rafael Varane, Casemiro, listening to even Eric Ten Hag and what he said, I know there are injuries to the team, Anthony and Anthony Martial will be missing. Yeah. But I think if Manchester United approach this game as courageous as they can, mm. you can stop Manchester City. So uh, I'm betting on Man United to do it. Uh, I saw Guy Neville last night uh, talking and he said that uh, the last time when United went against City and won the game, they played a midfield of Fred, uh, Casemiro and uh, Bruno Fernandes. Mm -hmm. And that is the midfield that should go in today, not a midfield of Ericsson. Do you concur with uh, such sentiments? Uh, somehow, yes, because Fred has a, a, a very many people underrate Fred, yeah. but Fred has a tendency to break up play yes. mm -hmm. and stop yes. the play. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need somebody who will stop Man City mm -hmm. from dominating that midfield. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Fred has the energy. Casemiro will go in with the tackles. Mm -hmm. And uh, the creativity aspect or the spark, uh, that's where Bruno comes in. Yes, yeah. Because once Fred wins that ball, it goes to Bruno. Yes. Uh, Ericsson uh, doesn't have the pace. Uh, he's, uh, he's in his 30s yeah. with a pacemaker. Uh, it may be, be very difficult for him to keep up with the mm -hmm. pace, but he can be a, a very good substitute uh, maybe to bring in the creativity. Yes. Uh, the, the, only, the only problem, in my opinion, is uh, uh, the missing of uh, Anthony. Okay. Uh, because Anthony will bring in speed to the wings. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've seen Sancho also coming up. Yes, so if yeah. Sancho yes. can do it from the other flank and mm -hmm. Rashford from mm -hmm. the other flank. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. But when you looked at Manchester City, the way they brushed off Real Madrid in the second leg, yes. they scare you. 
Yes, we do. Yeah, this gear, you and you're like, I don't want to play Manchester City. It's like the pep of uh, Barcelona. Mm. Yeah, we're going to Rome with, we're going to play these guys in Rome. Yes. With Messi, Niesta, and Sa I, you don't want to be sitting <laughs> in that sofa watching the game. Yes. You don't want to go for, for the results. Yes. This City team also scares people. Yes, a, 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 and as I said, I'm only banking on the fact that Manchester United, going back to that game you, you talked about in the 1-2-1, one, one, yeah. the biggest thing that United had was courage. That's yes. the only thing I'm banking on for yeah. Manchester United to yes. win the game. Mm -hmm. Tactically, looking at player strength, there are uh, miles and streets ahead of Manchester United. There yeah. is no denying that. And I guess it's been a transformation for, for Manchester City this year. Looking at how they started the season wasn't the best of, of starts. And then you enter into January, February. Yeah. And then you all of a sudden have John Stones who's playing in uh -huh. uh, yeah. as a midfielder, yeah. he's tracking back. Uh, and then you've got Bernardo Silva and Jack Grealish uh, on the other side. Yeah. They're doing tremendously well. All of a sudden, Kevin De Bruyne at ticks with Erling Haaland. Uh -huh. It's a complete team, to be honest. And Rodriguez has been one of the best players for, uh -huh, for, yes. for Manchester City. Mm -hmm. I believe that he's, he'll also want to make his stance on this one. So, man, it's difficult <laughs> to talk much about it right now. Uh, yes. that, the midfield of uh, Real Madrid of uh, Kroos and uh, Modric. Modric could yes. not go head on with this Manchester City team. Yes. Oh, yes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the numbers now went uh, back uh, in favor of City because now uh, when their fullbacks drop into the midfield, Stones also dropping. So they add numbers going up front. But United, where can they win this game if they are going hard on against a City this evening? Uh, they can they can win it on the counters. Yes. Uh, our best bet uh, mm -hmm. for United is they they, they, do a, they perfect the counter. Yes. And they're good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the objective here is for Man City, Man United, to stop City from dominating. Uh -huh. Not to go toe to toe. Yes. Toe to toe, <laughs> City are way way minus. Yes. Yes. Because you're looking at a project that has taken three, four seasons. Mm -hmm. And this is another project that has just taken one season. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, we are still miles apart. Yes. Uh, Man City have evolved in their yes. game. And Pep has evolved in his game. Yeah. Because if you look at now, Haaland can be able to drop back. Uh -huh. yes. And come and play like a number 10. Mm -hmm. And be a provider. Rather than now waiting for the balls. Yes. Yes. Uh, the other thing where they are very, very good at. Uh, they are very good bench power. Mm -hmm. uh, the players that come in. Yes. See, you, you have uh, yes. Mares on the bench. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you Alvarez have uh, Alvarez on the bench. You have yes. these are kid, Phil Foden, uh, on, Phil the Foden on the bench. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, uh, you saw what when he came in the Real Madrid game. He came in, created. Yes. Uh, Alvarez Alan, scored. Yes. Yeah. You see, yeah. uh, it's like a new team. Coming it's a new in. team coming yes. in. Yes. Uh, the, the depth in that team yes. yeah. is 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 wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Pep is spoiled for choice. But I, I don't want to to to. to to rule out Manchester United, however difficult it's going to be. Yes. Uh, we have also, in United, we have a coach who believes in winning. Yeah, uh, we have a coach who prepares thoroughly for games. Yes, that's a and, uh, That's what, what we are banking on, yeah, uh, yeah. that uh, he's prepared for this game. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's going to give them, we are, what I know, we are going to give them a run for their, for yeah. their money. Yeah, yeah. The pressure is not on United, uh -huh. the pressure is on, on City. City. Yes, yeah. because of the treble. They have a goal. Uh, yes. They have a goal to win the treble. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the United uh, uh, season, Without even if they lose the FA, mm -hmm. it's still a success. Yes, um, still yeah. a success. Bring, 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 yeah. bring, bringing me to uh, our next talking point, which has been trending all over, that between Arsenal and United, who has had a better <laughs> season between <laughs> these two? Yes. Arsenal second uh, position in the league, yeah. play, I think some of the best football yeah. this season, yes. and finishing second. United a trophy. Champions League football, yes. finishing third. Yes. Who had the better season? My initial, my initial assessment, I think it's going to bank on what happens tonight. Uh -huh, yes. Because if Manchester United win the FA Cup, mm -hmm. I'll outrightly go and say Manchester United had a better season than Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Two Cups finishing in the top four, Eric Ten Hag his first year mm -hmm. in a team that needed a heart, an open heart surgery. Uh -huh, yes. That's True. a brilliant job he's done. Yeah. But looking at it right now, mm -hmm. or not Arsenal have done, in my Early season predictions, I wouldn't have predicted that Arsenal would finish in the top four. <laughs> yes, Let alone them true. finishing only five points behind Manchester City. Yes. They did their job. Mm -hmm. They have a young team, yeah. the youngest team in the, in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. I think it would be harsh for, for us to, to bash them and talk about them bottling. I think yeah. it was a process in, the, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good way. Yeah. And if at all they, they get some investments coming yeah. up, 
Uh, probably you could see them going toe to toe now with four I, Manchester City. I, I disagree okay. uh, with his last statement, yeah. uh, and I want to believe that uh, Arsenal bottled it mm -hmm. uh, yes. because uh, one, this is not Arteta's first season; mm -hmm. this was like his third season. Yes, uh, it's been a process. Yeah. And to me, uh, I think uh, if I compare the two teams, mm -hmm. Manchester United, I'll say uh, without favoring them, they had a good season. Yeah. Uh, reason being, they have a new coach. They're in the process of rebuilding. Yeah. They've had challenges. Uh, before the new coach, they had three, four other coaches who couldn't match up. Yeah. Um, and they, they've come in, finished the season with one trophy already. Yes. Um, together, uh, on top of that, uh, they've, they've gone back to the Champions League. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a big win. Uh, Arsenal, this was their best season yes. to win it. Yeah. Because they lead 94% okay. of the league mm -hmm. in the one top. Yes. Uh, what will happen about, next about season? Because all, yeah. all, all, the other, all the other teams are going to, to reinforce. Yeah, but then let me, <laughs> let me counter it. A bit yes. Because yeah, you, you've okay. talked about them now finishing second and that they bottled. Yes. But let's remember, in those three seasons, yes. all you've seen from Mikel Ateta has been constant improvement uh, yes. from finishing eighth, mm -hmm. finishing fifth, mm -hmm. no second. Yeah. I mean, all Arsenal fans should be excited. And now the question will be, yeah. I think these teams have yeah, average best players. City, United, Arsenal, and all that. Yes. Then the difference has to be the coach, to be the deciding factor of how good you are in a season. Mm -hmm. Because you look at City, shaky start, mm -hmm. 150 feet, then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. his players clicked. I, th I think you look at it's, Arsenal. It's, it's, it's also, it has a combination of very many factors. Yes. Yeah. Uh, being one, being the coach. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I told someone, if Arsenal go to toe to toe with City, yeah. The last 10 games, mm -hmm. uh, City will win it. Yeah. Because that coach has been uh, in that position <laughs> yes. several Multiple times players. and even lost it. Yes. So he has mm -hmm. the experience. He knows okay. what to tell his players. Yeah. And secondly, it has to be also the experience in the squad uh -huh. and the depth. Yes. Anytime Thomas Pate got an injury, Arsenal mm -hmm. suffered. Yes, true. and not only that, uh, William Saliba. Uh, William Saliba. Saliba. Yes. Uh, when Odegaard is not there, mm -hmm. uh, th 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 there's a hit. Mm -hmm. But you see, uh, this guy on the other end, mm -hmm. Pep, can push stones into that midfield yeah. and stones will deliver. Yeah. Uh, you see, that, that's the difference, the yeah. depth, the, yeah. squ the squad depth. Yes. And then the experience also. Mm -hmm. You have Gundogan who is there. He's been there. Yes. The, the, Dan is the, the yeah. Bundesliga. Yes. He's, uh, he's, he's scored the, the, the goal that won the, 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 the league, last, league last, uh, last season. season. Yeah. So he knows what he will sell to his teammates when yeah. they are going out of the, uh, the, the uh, when they're going into the field. Yeah. When even they are trailing. Yeah. Because you find that Arsenal were, un were unable to come from behind mm -hmm. and win that game. Mm -hmm. And where they lost it, that draw with Liverpool, yes, that's yeah. when they reinstated yeah, the from that, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, and just to add on that, because yeah. he's talked about the experience in the team, yeah. I guess that was a big difference. Yeah. Uh -huh. Looking at yes. Manchester City mm -hmm. from the turn of the year, yeah. you no longer saw Phil Foden, you no longer yeah. saw Mares, uh -huh. you no longer saw yes. Rico Lewis. Mm -hmm. It was all about the hard guys that have done it over and over yes, again, yes. but yeah. Silva getting to the team, and of course, Gudugan good, good getting into the side. And there is something that Thierry Henry mentioned mm -hmm. about the Arsenal team. Mm -hmm. They were so emotional. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. and, and, and that is to come with the, young, the youth, the youth of, yeah. of these players. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I know Stan Korenke is doing a good job in the US. Mm -hmm. Rams are winning, Nuggets are winning. Mm -hmm. It's now his time yeah. to make sure that he brings in the winners into the team. Remember yeah. what Liverpool did with mm -hmm. Van Dyke, with Van Alisson, uh -huh. it's time for Arsenal to do that. Yeah, 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 to, to do that. Yes. And, uh, uh, and uh, they, they, they added Rosen to, onto the, onto, onto the uh -huh. school. Yes. Uh, they, should bring the in, uh, yeah. they, they, they should bring in more experienced yeah. players. Mm. Uh, uh, talking about uh, good seasons, good teams have had a good season. A team that we never expected to have a good season in 2016 had got to be Leicester City. Mm. Come 2016, all the way under Claudio Ranieri, they left the title. Yes. Eight years later, whoa, Leicester City is off the Premier League. And now their journey going down mm. seems to have uh, started. Yes. Are, are we going to experience something like a, a Portsmouth kind of story, a Wigan, a Middlesbrough kind of story where Leicester City might take a long journey back to the Premier League? I guess when you look at the story and to, to add, it's 24 months since they last won an FA Cup. Remember yes. they won an FA Cup, yeah, so yeah, it, it's been a downward kind of season. Yeah. But looking at it from how you might view the situation, how it looked like, I guess it was a series of mistakes that shouldn't have happened, mm -hmm. and they have happened, so you have to correct them. Yeah. So number one, you have Kasper Schmeichel, the heart of the uh -huh. team, yes. leaving the side, 
don't make any signings. You have to wait. The leader till, of the team. Actually. Yes, yeah. you have you have to wait till January when you make some signings of which they aren't the best. Fort Fires, yeah, not the best defender. And then and of course with Vardy having a few injuries and then them spending with Pubaka, Sumari, Patson, Daka, guys that you haven't seen the impact on the team. What I bank on them is they're gonna keep the the core of this team together and they've got talented guys. Apart from Madison, probably who might leave. Uh, I, 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 I end with Tillman. Yeah, yeah, Tillman. See, Tillman, uh, his contract is, is coming to an end. Yeah. I would assume that the rest of the guys remain to the team. Mm -hmm. And the best thing that they would do is remain with Dean Smith. Already a benchmark has been set by Burnley on how you need to bounce, bounce back. back. Immediately. Yes, you need yeah. to keep your guys, have a guy who's had a good strategy. Yeah. And play the best football in the championship. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get back for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> tough one for. Uh, I, I don't. Yes. I don't think they'll get back in time soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, because because you look at look at the quality. What 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 still baffles me? Yes. Is the quality in the team. Yes. Even mm -hmm. after uh, Schumacher left, mm -hmm. uh, the players who, who 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 remained in the team were still quality players. Yes. And uh, and I think there's a, there was a disconnect uh, between the coaching. Uh, fraternity. Oh, yes, Brendan and, uh, yes, 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 and 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 the, the squad. Yes, because uh, uh, I I cannot understand. If you look at Tillman, you look at uh, Harvey Barnes, yes. you look at Madison, yeah. uh, look at that attacking. How does a team like that go down? Uh, it doesn't really yeah. come up. So it will be very difficult for them to come up because these players will leave. Okay. They're ambitious. Mm -hmm. uh, they they won't stick down there. Yeah. So uh, they have to go to the championship and recruit. And the championship is one of the toughest grounds you'll ever play. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough, but I really can't rattle like six six teams who can who can provide an opposition. I'm not really sure. Really sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, you look at uh, Southampton is also gone. Yes. Leeds is also gone. Yeah. Uh, tough seasons for them. Uh, Sam Allardyce is not given a chance uh, to give up. No, you shouldn't get a chance. Yeah. One coach. <laughs> you shouldn't get uh, a chance. One coach we have, we have not given credit to and who actually performed very well this season yeah. has got to be Roberto Di Zerbi yes. of uh, Brighton. I yes. think exceptional season mm. for that team. Yes, um, him taking over from Graham Potter. I guess the foundation had been set, yes. but what you saw with Brighton this season was them just improving from where Graham Potter had left the team. Yes, and I remember when they were going ahead to play against Manchester City, Pep Guardiola had some very good words to say about Roberto yes, Zabi, yes. talking mm -hmm. about him as one of the generation guys that have yeah. been there in, in, in coaching. Yeah. And that's what you've seen. There's been accountability, him bringing on some, some really exciting players into the, into the squad. Mm -hmm. Bonanote has yes. been one of the, of, the, of the spectacular guys. Uh -huh. Julio Enciso, mm -hmm. guy who's coming off from the bench and, and having a very good season. Mm -hmm. I think Roberto De Zabi just getting Brighton into Europe, yes. <laughs> that was a big And not just getting them into Europe, yes. but getting them while they're playing beautiful football. Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, they, they are the best team with builder play. Yes. 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 Uh, and I think uh, many people have been talking about uh, when they talk about nominees for the best coaches. <laughs> Yes. Uh, they are going for mm. Pep. Me, I'll go for three. Okay. Yeah. Roberto uh -huh. being one of them. Yes. Yeah. I'll go for Eddie Howe. Yes. Eddie Howe. Yeah. He did yeah. a beautiful uh -huh. job. Yes. And yes. Unai Emery. Uh -huh. yes. yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, he took, look at where he took us to the relegation. Relief. Relegation. And, and they, they are now going to Europe. Yes. And they pumped <laughs> Brighton, I think, 4 2 the last game. Of, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah they, they, the hit, <laughs> they hit them. And yeah. uh, you see, these three coaches uh, came in mm -hmm. and did something exceptional mm -hmm. with yeah. average players. Yeah. Uh, Pep has a depth, has the finances, has yeah, everything. everything yeah. Uh, but these guys are doing it from very little finance, maybe apart from Newcastle. Yes. Uh, very little finances. Aston Villa, uh, they don't do much signings. Yeah, yeah. But the same, same squad. They want a free it's, fall. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's weird how a coach comes in yeah. and changes everything. Yes. And uh, we have to give credit to Unai Emery. Yes. Uh, yes. We give credit to Eddie Howe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eddie Howe maintained with Newcastle. They play hard football. Yes. Yes. Uh, and, uh, Robert, of course. Yeah. A, 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 and one more name, mm -hmm. Gary O'Neill for Bournemouth. Yes. Came at the back of them losing 9 0 to Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Scott Parker said that this is not a Premier League squad, it's a Championship squad. Mm -hmm. Early goes ahead to finish 13th. Good mm -hmm. season for him. Mm -hmm. A very big season. We cannot finish the conversation when it comes to the English Premier League. But uh, another team that was having a really bad season, but now they have made a change yeah. and it is in management, has got to be Chelsea. Troublesome. <laughs> I have no word to describe the season that Chelsea had. But the coming in of Mauricio Pochettino uh, changes the dynamic of Chelsea next season. Uh, yeah, 
but mm. I think uh, they shot themselves in the foot mm. uh, because uh, when they went for Graham Potter uh, and Graham Potter was not getting results, mm -hmm. yes. uh, this one was bad already. Yeah. They could have finished with him. Yes. They shouldn't have gone for Lampard again mm -hmm. because that is bringing in, confusing the players more. <laughs> yes. uh, because uh, Graham Potter plays a different system of, of play. Look at yeah. what Brighton is playing, knocking the ball around. Yeah. Lampard doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. So when you bring in Lampard, uh, you confuse the squad more. Yes. Now, the person who has a, a very difficult time is uh, Pochettino. Uh, Pochettino has a very difficult time because Chelsea also have a bloated uh, squad. Uh -huh. yeah, yes. uh, they have uh, so many senior players that they don't need. Yeah. So he needs to come and clear out. Yeah. And you saw, yeah. uh, it was very unfortunate that it didn't work out for Graham Potter. Because uh -huh. what Graham Potter was buying was buying young uh, players. Is that the work of Graham Potter? Uh, I, I think yes, because I'm, 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 looking at, yes. I'm looking at his project at Brighton yes. uh, and comparing now the same same project maybe he had at, at, at Chelsea. He thought he had time. He, he, he mm. thought he had time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Because uh, look at, he, 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 he took time to mm -hmm. build the Brighton squad yes. and to put into them at a young age. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I would like to imagine that is what he wanted to do with Chelsea. Mm -hmm. But a team like Chelsea, you don't get a year. Yes, you barely get a season yes. if you're not getting results. It's a result. I think uh, it is. Uh, it is not only. Let us not also look at the coaches as such. Let yeah. us look at uh, how shameful the Chelsea players were. Because I think <laughs> it's a shame to the players when they don't give much. We, we, yeah. we saw games, they are not trying, they're not yeah. struggling. Yeah. Uh, the desire is not there. Yeah. That's on you as a player, mm -hmm. not as a coach. Yeah. Uh, you see, it's on you as a player to push yourself. Mm. And you look at the game against Manchester United, the, the, the hunger was not there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't there. And Manchester mm. United were not good on that particular uh, yes, they day, were. but they won 4 1. Yes. Uh, well, finally, uh, in Lionel Messi. Uh -huh. They confirmed by the coach that is leaving PSG. Yeah. No one knows his next destination. I Say. think we know. <laughs> I think we know. Barcelona, they have, they have said uh, we don't have that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not Barcelona. <laughs> it, it was not going to be Barcelona, yeah. especially with the crisis they still have financially. And even yeah. edge-wise, what is, what is he going to do? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. what is his next destination? It has to be a spot in Saudi Arabia. This guy uh -huh. has been doing the, the entire tourism job, job. for Saudi, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, yes. He's getting paid wonderfully. Yeah. He takes a week off or mm -hmm. two days off from PSG yeah. to the go middle to of Saudi the Arabia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he, yeah. there, there's some phone ringing there. Yeah. And, and of course, they are ringing to, to other guys. Sergio yeah. Ramos also has left. Yeah. I would assume that Benzema, they are, they are, Benzema, Benzema, Benzema <laughs> yes, yes. Andres Iniesta, I hear he still wants to play at 40. Yes. Saudi Arabia is the place to be. Ah, it is going to have us. The US. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, Cristiano started it and everybody now is going there and it is going to be a very good season for them. But how will it turn out to be? Well, seasons come and go. Bayern won it in Germany. Mm. Man City. Uh, painful. <laughs> it was painful. It was painful. It was painful. Uh, painful yes, for Dortmund. Th that yes. Dortmund can have the trophy just laid mm. onto the pitch. Remember, yes. mm -hmm. at full time, yeah. Bayern were awarded the, the replica mm. trophy. Ah, yes. The real one was in Dortmund. Yeah. It was waiting for Borussia Dortmund oh, to win the to game. Win. Yeah. And for you just to have a game where you just win against Mainz, don't care about what's happening. And then in the middle of the game, you have Cologne equalizing against Bayern Munich. You yeah. still have a chance. Mm -hmm. Arling, uh, Hala missed a penalty. You have many opportunities coming in and you just couldn't score. Yeah. I think, I think for Dortmund for are cast. For me, yeah. it reminded me <laughs> of uh, when Manchester United lost it uh, against City. The Aguero goal. You yes. see the, 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 the tension yes. mm -hmm. uh, in it. But I think uh, uh, Dortmund, uh, uh, I don't understand mm -hmm. how they lost it. I, I thought it was that season where Marco Ross was going to lift uh, yes. that uh, yeah, trophy. Finally, yeah, finally. Yeah. I, I really felt sad for him yeah. when they did not have a and chance. They are, they are in more trouble because Bellingham mm -hmm. is leaving. Yes. Yeah. And most of their, their players will also leave. They also take time to, 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 to come. Yeah, already yeah. Moda Mo is, yes, is leaving to Brighton. Yeah. And for Bayern Munich, I think you saw everything that happened after the game. Yes. Them booting out uh, Oliver Kahn, mm -hmm. booting out Hassan Salihamizic from, from, the, from the board. From the board, yeah. It's a clear route that these guys want to focus on rebuilding the side. Uh, because yeah. for the first time in the Bundesliga season, mm -hmm. I haven't seen a broken Bayern Munich side that lacked character, lacked organization. Leadership. Uh, but, but, but again, uh, what, what I'm wondering, uh, will Tuchel be able to do it? Yeah, yes. That yeah. Be, no, no, that's the abrasive <laughs> yeah, manager. Yes, because yes, that's yes. what I'm wondering. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, Will Tuchel be able to do it? Because if you look at, uh, before he came in, they were playing good football. Yeah. Uh, not getting very good results. Okay, they're playing, playing good bland football. football, football, football. football. Uh, well, he's coming again, still the same. Tonight, no in Germany, we have got the DFB 
Pokal Cup uh, final that is going between RP Leipzig and yeah. Eintracht Frankfurt. Mm. Which one do you go for? I'm going with RP Leipzig. Mm -hmm. They've had a really good closing out of the season. Makoro's in charge there. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a it's a final hurrah for for Christopher Nkunku who will yes. be leaving out to, to Chelsea. Yeah, to Chelsea. Yes, I, I, I've got Leipzig. They had a very good end to the season, finishing that. Yeah, I, I agree with you uh -huh. on that. Uh, they, they, they've had a, a good run. Yeah, and I want to believe uh, uh, in the final they have the hunger to win it. Yeah. Yes, uh, more than uh, their team. So Frankfurt, yeah. uh, I think uh, they'll take it. Finally, before we talk about the fixtures coming on for the Kenyan Premier League, and uh, you are going to that those games. Yeah. I've got to ask you. Game two coming up, Denver Nuggets mm. versus Miami Heat. Mm -hmm. you didn't, who expected the uh, Heat to uh, to lose the first game? Everyone. Everyone. I, I would <laughs> say everyone expected them to lose that game. Yes. I think the odds were stacked against them. They were just coming off a game seven against the Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yes. You are playing against a team that had a nine day rest. Uh -huh. You are playing in altitude. Yes. 5,280 feet above sea level. Yeah. And you get into that place and you're facing mountains of men in Nikola Jokic yes. and Jamal Murray. Uh -huh. I think it was expected that Miami Heat would have a problem in that game. Yeah. And this is the first time that they've lost a game one on the road mm -hmm. in the postseason. So I think I'm, the, uh, I'm in a group of a few guys who believe that Miami won while they lost in uh -huh. that game. Yes. Our Nuggets had a good second quarter. Yeah. They played out well. They had a 17-3 run mm -hmm. that actually def de decided the game. But when you look at it from a Miami point of view, I remember a point in the fourth quarter where they had an 11-0 run yes. where they played zone and it looked really good for them. The only thing that missed out for them was hitting shots. Uh -huh. I can yes. understand how Max Struess, Duncan Robinson, will all end up without hitting a three-pointer. Yes. That has been the staple for Miami Heat in the series mm -hmm. and in the postseason. So I, I believe that they rebound from that. They yeah. have the best coach, the experienced coach in Eric Spestra. Uh -huh. They're going to win game two. So game two, you're going for Miami too? Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, a big one there. And uh, game two will be tomorrow, 8 p.m.? No, it's, it's 3.30 a.m. on Monday morning. On <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> ah. yeah. So if you've got nothing to do on Monday, wake up for that game. And it is going to... Uh, just uh, wanted to ask, uh, looks like now is the final years of LeBron James. We're not going to see him again now. I think he's retiring. <laughs> <laughs> you got <laughs> the bait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, 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 um, I've seen Tom Brady for a couple of years, him talking about retirement and all, and I saw him announce and then re reverse the decision. Yes. One thing that has been told over and over again, don't trust players on their downtime moments. Yes. When they lose a series, especially in a sweep, I'm not going to trust LeBron James that he's going to retire. He's going to come back. He, still, he has two years at the Lakers, and he still has the dream in mind to yeah. play with his son in the NBA. LeBron James is not stopping. He'll be here next season. Yeah. But will he be as good as... Expected. Man, he, he didn't have a bad season. <laughs> there was a stat that was actually put up. When yes. you look at the points, you put up the, the rebounds and the assists that he had. Yes. This is a prime Larry Bird uh -huh. right now right now. at yes. 40 uh -huh. or 39. Yes. He had one of the best old man per season. Yeah. He still has got a lot in the tank. Mm. Yes. Well, let's look at uh, some of the games that are coming on your way today. We've got uh, at uh, 5 p.m. We've got Manchester City going against. Uh, Manchester United, but let's look at the Kenyan Premier League. Karubangi Sharks as they're playing FC Talanta, Sofa Paka versus Bandari at Tenyayo National Stadium. City Stars versus Nzoia and uh, Wazito versus Tasca and Viga Bullets versus mm -hmm. FC Leopards. Look at the fixtures here. Tasca, can Wazito hand Gourmet the trophy? Well, uh, <laughs> the, the, there's been a lot of ping pong <laughs> yeah. in, in the Premier League this season, and I yeah. guess the best description was given by the Gourmet coach, yes. Jonathan McKingstreet, when he was mm -hmm. talking to us and telling us that mm -hmm. there are some moments when you write our obituaries, and then there are some moments that you write Tasca's obituary and you yes. praise them a lot. I think yeah. Tasca have had a very good year this yeah. year. Uh, I think in the last 13 games, they've only lost one, which was Tunzoia. Yes. They're still on top of the table with a point. Mm -hmm. and this is the game that everyone is putting us down. Yes. Them traveling to Moroni. Mm -hmm. We know what happens in Moroni. Mm -hmm. They yeah. can be intimidating. Yes. They are a really rowdy crowd. Mm -hmm. And they stopped Gurmaya the last time they were there. Yes. Listening to the CEO of Wazito yesterday, mm -hmm. he talked about Wazito and Gurmaya sharing the same fans. Mm -hmm. They hope that they can do the job for Gurmaya. Yes. But if there is a team I'm not willing to back down on, mm. Robert Matano. Robert Matano. Yes. They, they, and they then squeeze it off. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is a very tricky one for Gourmet because they are actually playing with Lindsay. Yes. Uh, Lindsay, Mualala is gone. Not uh, gone. 
Is it still back? Yes, he's still there. The, the he's still there. He, he was uh, missing from the dugout. Yes. But then there was a statement released by Olinzi confirming yeah. that he had not left the team. Yes. And it appears that there was a there was a flu mm -hmm. affecting some 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 so, of some of the teams yes. yeah, in, in Olinzi. He's expected to be back this weekend. Uh, let's look at the Sunday fixtures. We've got uh, Kakamega homeboys uh, playing Madara United. Oh, Ooh, boy, two bad season for Madara. Yeah, They're yeah, that's that's one of gone. the games. Then uh, we've got Police versus Posta Rangers. KCB versus Bitco, Gormaya versus Ulinzi, and then Talanta will be playing City Star. So, Bitco, that will be on Thursday against Wazito. Gormaya, key moments when they need to win, also they bottle it up. Yeah, that, that, that's a problem and uh, inconsistencies. Uh -huh, yes. And uh, as you said, uh, uh, myself, I'm banking on Tasca. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, going all the way because uh, Tasca, uh, being uh, they have some stability. Yes. Uh, from the management mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they have had consistency in, in the coaching sector. Matano has been there for some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he understands his players. Yeah. He has been at this place. Uh, he understands the Kenyan football uh, Premier League yes, very yeah. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he understands the grounds that he's going to visit. Yeah. Yes. As much as they talk about witchcraft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that discussion <laughs> for another day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, he, he, knows, he yes. knows He knows. what to say to his players yes. at this moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Gormaya, sometimes they blow hot mm -hmm. and cold. And yeah. uh, yes. Ulinzi is not a, a mean engagement. Uh, mm -hmm. it will, Ulinzi will trouble them. Yes. Yes. Uh, it will trouble them. Yeah. I watched Lindsay play against Kenya Police uh -huh. last week on Friday. Yes. The second half, they were really good. I, I would have wished that they, they had the same start that they had. Mm -hmm. But talking about Gurmaya, yeah. I mean, the performance that probably might have just taken away everything mm -hmm. that they, they were thinking about this season yes. was that Mashemeji Derby game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Losing to AFC Leopards, mm -hmm. which is a pretty uh, young team. Yes. And them moving away and drawing against Poster Rangers, you drawing against Sofapaka. Mm -hmm. But King Street has always said that looking back to the years when Gormaya used to win. Yes. They were winning in these small games. At uh, the yeah. end of the day, those are the games that have come out huge for them. Uh -huh. So it's going to take a lot. I watched them again last weekend playing against Tasca. It was a nil nil draw. Yes. And the comments from Matano were, don't throw stones at the lion. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> Eric, how the final what? Manchester final? Uh, who is going to win? Uh, I'll, I'll go for Manchester United. Yeah. Uh, and uh, these are making a prediction out of the heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> out of the heart and not, and not the stats. Yes. Because uh, yeah. the odds and the stats are against Manchester United. Well, that is Eric Aganya. Uh, I believe in, uh, in the team. In the team. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Eric Aganya here on us. Sammy Gitai, thanks for coming. I'm Robert Rosoro. For everyone who has managed to make this broadcast a success, we say Asante Sana. Good afternoon.